What's up guys and girls and welcome back to Brett Vapes. Um, today it is lockdown day 28. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Um, it is lockdown and we are... Jeez, it's been... What? It's been it's been a long time, guys. We're almost on to a full month of um, lockdown, and a lot of us would have run out of cotton. Um, so basically, what this tutorial is going to be based is um, how to use the cotton that you get with your coils, guys. Um, I know, as from from personal experience, I generally prefer not to use this, as I just find it's easier to use your cotton bacon um, and all those other different types of cottons that we use, your T TFC I think it is, um, there, there's, there's so many different types of cottons out there that's just made wicking so much easier, um, but we run out of those and we cannot get more but the thing is our, I tend to collect these so <laughs> um, I've got a whole ton of these containers just full of cotton that I haven't used um, so I'm going to just show you guys how to wick with it how to use it to, to get the best sort of performance out of it I'm just going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to do it um, so yeah I'm going to be wicking on both the Profile Unity and the Blotto so you guys can see how it's done with both of them but it's very simple. I'm going to be doing using a technique that we, I don't know if people use it anymore as it is quite an old technique but it's the Scottish Roll. Um, I'm sure there are still many of you out there who do know how but for those who don't, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, um, so the first things first is to make sure that your coils are clean and ready to go. Um, then what you're going to do, you're going to take your container or whatever has the cotton in it. So we've got the cotton, oh I see I still got a coil in there, save that for later. Um, so you take your strip, you'll generally find they're like this find a little block of just straight up organic Japanese cotton um, now this is what we used to use long before cotton bacon came out so <laughs> um, it's a little crinkled but that's not going to be too much of an issue first things first guys is what we're gonna do is we're gonna now if you look carefully I don't know how well you guys can see this but if you look, you can see that the strands are going horizontally. You don't want them. You don't want them to be going. Um, sorry, they're going vertically. You don't. You don't want them to be going horizontally because it's just not going to work this way. So what you, the first thing you're going to be doing is turn it so that the the strands are going straight forward. And what you're going to do is you're just going to spread out the cotton first so this I'm first gonna do the mesh and then I'm gonna do the um, blotto afterwards so you're just gonna spread it out like this you don't want to do it you don't you, it's gentle you want to do this gently guys because if you do it too hard if you do this too hard you're going to um, pull the cotton apart so you just want to be gentle enough so that it's spread out so as you can see it's a lot um, wider now I've got a lot more cotton here now for in order for the Scottish roll to work first thing I'm going to do and this is I, I'm not sure if there's any other methods to this any other ways and um, if you guys do have any idea on other methods, other ways to, to do a Scottish roll, just let me know down in the comment section. So as you can see, it's also fluffed out a bit more now. Now what we do is we just take a layer, just one single layer off of the top. 
generally you'll find that this cotton this type of cotton has a slightly harder layer on the top and the bottom um, just for packaging purposes so there we go it's another layer I'll just gently tug that off and you do that so that and now you can see it's a lot more fluffy and that's what we want okay so for the for the mesh I found the full piece to be too much so what I do is I just take a bit off of it so here you can tug a bit harder you just tug that right off like that and there we go that should be enough now next step is to roll it up hence the Scottish roll you just roll it as tight as you can and there we go we've got our piece of cotton um, and it's going to go in here um, I'm not going to show you how to wick the profile what I'll do is I'll put a card up here so that uh, which will take you to the profile unity review where I did do a, a tutorial on how to wick it um, let's move over to the blotto alrighty guys so I'm back we've got the blotto on the mod now it's all clean it's all ready to go um, yeah let's let's show you how to get the Scottish roll for this for the for the for the blotto or for any dual dual or single coil sort of thing it, it, it'll vary now remember guys the thickness of your cotton is now going to depend on how big your inner diameter of the coils are um, this is where it becomes a bit it, it varies this all depends on what what inner diameter your coils are um, I just said that but anyway so here we've got our square again same process Thin it out. Okay, so there we go. Now you can see it's pretty much twice the size of what it was before. Um, now the next step, same thing as before. Top and bottom layer removed. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split it right down the middle. You can use scissors just to cut it, but eh, we can tear it, it's fine. Now, just roll it up. Um, because this isn't as long as what like your cotton bacon or anything like that would be, you're obviously not going to use just the same strand right through. You're going to be using two separate strands. So there's one. And there's the other. And there we go. Now we've got our two strands for the blotto. I'm probably going to have to adjust this one. This one feels a bit thick, but I will see. But anyway, yeah, that's the tutorial, guys. It really is as simple as that. Um, let's move back to my face so I can just say my goodbyes. Alright guys, um, so that's it. It's as simple as that how to do a Scottish roll. Uh, very easy um, and an awesome thing to know especially when you're running when you've run out of your regular cotton and all you have is the cotton from the coils that you have bought. Um, this might make you guys want to keep that cotton from now on, eh? <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Thanks so much for joining me guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very um, enlightening. Um, guys please don't forget, if you guys would like to know more about JVS, about Josie Vapor Society, all you need to do is contact me through Facebook, um, or you can contact me through Instagram, uh, through Facebook, my WhatsApp's there, if you can contact me with instant messaging, or on Instagram you can just DM me. Um, that's not limited just to JVS though guys, you can also contact me if you want me to review anything, if you have any ideas, you just want to chat, whatever, 
um, I am there, I'm available. Um, also guys, please, if you'd like to support my channel more, um, I've got my Patreon, please check my Patreon out, I'd really like to help you guys out with that as well. Um, I want to get that, that giveaway going, I want to get, you know, help the community contribute. Um, and I need the financial help with that guys, so please check out my Patreon for that. I will be, as soon as we've got more Patrons, I will be pushing some um, Patreon, Patreon only content as well. So that's another thing to look look forward to as well, guys. Um, also, please don't forget about hashtag vaping saved my life, guys. Phenomenal community. You can check them out on Facebook. Um, if you do, be sure to like their page as well as follow them. Um, they really have some awesome content. They're awesome news updates. And they're doing some great stuff for the community. Be sure to sign that petition as well, guys. It's important for SA. We, we would really appreciate that support, guys. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button as well as hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you don't miss any of my content. If you have already subscribed and hit that notification bell, guys, be sure to share my content, guys. There's a share button there for a reason. Please share my stuff. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic one, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.